Imagine a quiet mountain lake. The water is still, a perfect mirror for the vastness of the sky. Breathe deeply and sense the peace that surrounds you. This is a glimpse of the tranquility we experience when we live in oneness with the divine. This profound peace is not merely an external experience. It is an inner state of being, a deep knowing that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. It is a homecoming to our true nature, a life lived in Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is not just an intellectual concept, it is a lived experience, a state of being. It is the realization that the same spirit that dwelt in Jesus also resides within each of us. This awareness is transformative. It shifts our perception from seeing ourselves as separate individuals to recognizing our interconnectedness with all of creation. We awaken to the truth that we are one with God and one with another. Jesus uses a powerful metaphor to describe our relationship with the divine. In John 15 verse 4, he says, Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. This image of the vine and branches speaks to our deep need for connection with God. We are the branches, drawing life and sustenance from the vine, which is Christ. Apart from this vital connection, we wither and become fruitless. How then do we abide in Christ? How do we cultivate this essential connection in our daily lives? Prayer is one of the most powerful ways to connect with the divine. It is through prayer that we quiet our minds, open our hearts, and listen to the still, small voice within. Meditation is another essential practice. It allows us to go deeper into the silence, to become more attuned to the presence of God within and around us. Intentionally choosing to live by the teachings and example of Jesus is also crucial. Section 5. The Transforming Power of Christ Within When we abide in Christ, a remarkable transformation begins to unfold. This transformation is not just a superficial change, but a deep, profound metamorphosis that touches every aspect of our being. Just as a caterpillar becomes a butterfly, we too are made new in Christ. As Paul writes in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. This means that our old self, with its flaws and imperfections, is put to death. We are no longer bound by our past mistakes and failures. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. This signifies a new beginning, a fresh start, where Christ's love and grace guide our every step. We become vessels of His love, spreading His light to those around us. This is not about losing ourselves, but about discovering our truest selves in Christ. In Him, we find our true identity and purpose. We realize that we are beloved children of God, created for a divine purpose. Our old ways of thinking and behaving begin to fall away as we are renewed by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit works within us, gently transforming our hearts and minds. We start to see the world through the eyes of Christ, filled with compassion and love. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 encourages us, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds. This renewal is a continuous process, a daily surrender to God's will and His ways, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. By aligning our thoughts and actions with God's will, we experience true peace and fulfillment. This transformation is a testament to the power of Christ within us, making us new creations ready to fulfill His divine purpose. Section 6. Living Reflections of Divine Love As we are transformed from within, our interactions with the world change. We become living reflections of Christ's love, compassion, and forgiveness. Our lives become a testament to the power of the divine working through us. This is not about striving to be perfect, but about allowing the light of Christ to shine through our imperfections. As Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. Section 7. The Oneness of Humanity. Seeing with the Eyes of Christ. 
In this section, we delve into the profound concept of unity and interconnectedness that Christ consciousness brings into our lives. Living in Christ consciousness expands our capacity for empathy and compassion. It allows us to transcend our limited perspectives and embrace a more inclusive and loving view of the world. We begin to see the world through the eyes of Christ, recognizing the divine spark within every human being. This shift in perception transforms our interactions, making us more patient, understanding, and loving towards others. Divisions based on race, religion, or any other external factor begin to crumble. We start to appreciate the rich tapestry of humanity, seeing diversity not as a source of division, but as a beautiful expression of God's creativity. We see past the superficial differences and recognize the essential oneness that binds us together as children of God. This realization fosters a sense of unity and solidarity, encouraging us to support and uplift one another. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 4 to 6 remind us, There is one body and one spirit. This scripture emphasizes the unity that is inherent in our faith, urging us to live in harmony with one another. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. These words call us to recognize the common foundation of our beliefs and to celebrate the shared journey of faith that unites us. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. This powerful message reminds us that we are all part of a greater whole, connected by the divine presence that permeates all of creation. By embracing this truth, we can foster a world where love, peace, and unity prevail. Section 8. Extending Grace. Embracing Our Shared Identity. This understanding of our shared identity compels us to extend grace and forgiveness to others, even when it is difficult. We begin to understand that hurting another is ultimately hurting ourselves, for we are all part of the same body of humanity. We are called to be peacemakers, bridge builders, and agents of reconciliation in a world often torn apart by division and strife. We are called to be the hands and feet of Christ, offering love, healing, and hope to a world desperately in need. Section 9. The Ever-Present Companion The journey of living in Christ consciousness is not always easy. There will be challenges and setbacks along the way, but we are never alone. As Jesus promised his disciples in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. This promise is for us too. God is with us always, guiding us, strengthening us, and empowering us to live as vessels of love and light. Section 10, Our Invitation to Oneness. The invitation to live in oneness with the divine is open to all. It is a call that transcends boundaries, cultures, and beliefs, inviting every soul to experience the profound unity that exists within the heart of creation. As Paul reminds us in Acts chapter 17, verse 28, in him we live and move and have our being. This scripture speaks to the intimate connection we share with the divine, a connection that is the very essence of our existence. This is not a journey we take alone. We are part of a greater tapestry, woven together by the threads of love, faith, and shared experiences. Each step we take is a step taken in unity with others, a collective movement towards a higher purpose. It is a journey we are invited to take together, supporting and encouraging one another along the way. In moments of joy and in times of challenge, we find strength in our togetherness, knowing that we are never truly alone. Let us open our hearts to the transformative power of Christ consciousness. This awakening invites us to see the world through the eyes of love, to act with compassion, and to live with a sense of divine purpose. Let us strive to live each day as a reflection of God's love, grace, and compassion. In our actions, let us be the hands and feet of the divine, bringing light to the darkest corners and hope to the most desolate hearts. Let us embrace the truth that we are one with the divine, one with another, and one with all of creation. This oneness is not just a spiritual concept, but a lived reality, calling us to honor the sacredness in every being and in every moment. The path to peace, wholeness, and true fulfillment lies in this profound realization. 
As we walk this path, let us do so with open hearts and open minds, ready to receive the blessings of unity and to share them with the world. Together, we can create a world where love reigns supreme, where every action is a testament to our shared divinity, and where the beauty of our oneness is celebrated in every aspect of life.